Amidst the Anthony Hospital turmoil, involving the administrator, a short two weeks into the realm of the unemployed, Gary discovering vocational employment from an unexpected authorship, the Kiowa District Hospital. Both Jen and Gary having served the hospital, Jen functioning as a nurse's aide and EMT during her college internship, and Gary as a driver with the hospital directed Barber County Ambulance Service during his employment at the school. The ex-Anthony Hospital employee according a message of appreciation to his brother-in-law Sean Johnson, for conveying the possibility of an opening at the hospital, mentioning, an ongoing dissolution between the current maintenance man, Mike Pavlou, and the hospital administrator. Gary discovering that Mike, the son-in-law of hospital's director of nursing, Sharon Reagan, having unexpectedly resigned in pursuit of another avocation. Gary placing a call to Buck McKinney, the administrator, expressing an interest in applying for the maintenance position, arranging for an interview, having some apprehension about residing in Anthony. The interview with McKinney was brief, the administrator having no consequence about his Anthony residency, and to Gary's surprise, afforded little interest in the prevailing occurrences at the Anthony Hospital. The financial compensation for a maintenance man was as anticipated, substantially less than his previous multi-department plant service manager position at the Anthony Hospital. Gary bringing to light his participation in the Kansas Hospital Engineers Association, currently serving the organization as secretary treasurer and editor of the KHEA monthly newsletter. His concern, whether the Kiowa Hospital would continue to endorse his participation, the administrator assuring the hospital's commitment would be extended. During his initial interview with Buck, Gary summarized his past hospital-related responsibilities and experience, in addition to his normal maintenance duties, he initiated a written maintenance and safety policy and procedure programs with documentation, to comply with the ever-increasing number of state and federal regulations. With the start of his employment, the new employee given license to search for a small suitable office space. Discovering a vacant room across the hall from Gail Lindley, the long-established purchasing director from the past John McGee Administrative. The small office accommodation fulfilling a homestead for his computer, plus its edict, and once situated he began to research for past written documentation. An investigation soon realized that there was no recorded written records for past inspections, and discovering the hospital staff never having participating in regularly scheduled monthly fire drills as required. The contrivance days of the past were of a bygone epoch. The day of written documentation and compliance with state and federal regulations having arrived. Gary experiencing the maintenance requirements contrary to those of the Anthony Hospital. The smaller Kiowa facility with its diminished number of acute and swing bed patients, having fewer maintenance requests. His morning walk through of the building, a visit to the clinic, all the ancillary departments, documented inspection of clinical systems, the daily incineration of medical waste and regiment of groundskeeping. The facility's housekeeping duties being provided by Judy Reed and a staff of two. Ona Hunter and Vicky Rugg, Gary having been acquainted with Dick Reed when he was a sales representative with the Bogner Chevrolet, but not Judy. The dietary department consisted of one person, Arvita Starzak. Her culinary domain absolute, dominantly ruled, more than adequate for the sparse patients in flux. Arvita a working mother, her son William an enrollee of the California Highway Patrol Academy, and younger daughter Anna, still in grade school. The hospital nursing contingency directed by registered nurse Sharon Reagan, her patient concern and advocacy, reflected by the diligent attention and a caring atmosphere the healthcare facility espoused. Her community presence, 
displayed by her voluntary commitment to supervising the ambulance service monthly employee schedule, fulfilling almost all registered nurse transporting runs. Gary very much acquainted with the Reagans, having worked with Sharon's school custodian employed husband Craig, and commemorating how Sharon covered his ambulance on call duty during his grade school vocation when embarking his morning and afternoon bus route. Taking stock in his new employment. Gary, in all honesty, missed the challenge and learning experience of the larger Anthony Hospital, but accepted his return to Kiowa and the hospital employment as a literal evolution of, back to the future.